our next speaker is Tom Joseph. He's an advisory software engineer from IBM, and he'll be discussing the tooling infrastructure for PMCI protocols. He's also a maintainer for some of the IPMI repositories and OpenBMC and the PLDM repository. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, I'm Tom. I uh, work with IBM Systems uh, in India, uh, in Bangalore. Uh, yeah, Bangalore is called Silicon Valley in India, Silicon Valley of India. Uh, and uh, I work on uh, the PLDM protocol uh, and uh, the IPMA protocol. I co maintain uh, both. Uh, I work with OpenBMC project for the last uh, three years, been active on the OpenBMC project. So my uh, topic today is uh, the tooling infrastructure for PMCA protocols. Uh, it's a continuation of the uh, discussion that we had yesterday on the uh, PMC, uh, or the PLDM implementation on the OpenBMC. Uh, my, uh, my colleague Deepak had uh, covered that, but uh, I'll just go to the fundamentals uh, once and then we'll get to the specific tooling aspect of this uh, uh, PMCA protocols. So the uh, PMCA stands for the uh, platform management uh, in com platform management component intercommunications. So uh, that's a name for a work group uh, under the DMTF uh, OS pre uh, pre OS work group. And uh, what the uh, work group does is to standardize the uh, the communication uh, protocols, uh, the define the low level data models, and the transport definitions between the management controller and the management devices. So for all those who have been like uh, uh, working on IPMI, um, this is somewhere that the industry is heading. So um, it'll be uh, it'll be something interesting for those who have been like uh, rela related to the IPMI world. Uh, so this uh, this platform management subsystem uh, uh, basically takes care of all the in the box communication within the platform. Um, it, it takes care of the uh, this kind of uh, what do you call uh, the platform? Uh, what do you call the monitoring uh, services uh, of like temperature probing, your voltage monitoring, your fan speed, and all those aspects, as well as this control functions of uh, like uh, power on, power off, reset, uh, and uh, watchdog timers. So this uh, shows all the protocols that are involved in the uh, the PMCA stack. So there are some components uh, in the uh, PMCA stack. Uh, we have the management controller, uh, the management devices, the, the platform software, uh, and the network controller. So these protocols all work together to enable communication between these components. So the uh, the BMC is, is a management controller. Uh, it basically aggregates all these uh, management uh, values. Uh, the management devices uh, are, uh, example would be a temperature sensor chip. Uh, those could be like, we could have standard sensor devices where uh, there are standardized low level interfaces. There could be legacy sensor devices where it's not standardized. Uh, we could also have intelligent management devices which would speak uh, protocols um, uh, and there would be level level of abstraction. The platform software uh, takes care of uh, uh, it, it runs on the ho host CPU and it uh, communicates with the uh, management controller to exercise management functions. And the network controller takes care of uh, um, the external network world uh, connectivity for the management controller. So at the heart of this is the uh, MCTP protocol and. Uh, uh, th that is a what you call the transport layer protocol that lets uh, commit uh, that allows the communication between all these components uh, between the management controller and the platform uh, software, management controller to the management controller, management controller to the network controller, and to the management devices. So uh, the the MCTP protocol uh, can carry different message types. The NVMe is one one of them. Uh, the PLDM, uh, the PLDM is the one that I will. Uh, that we have started the tooling on, which we'll get to a little more detail. The NCTP control messages and the NCSI. Uh, the NCSI and RMI is one one combination. Apart from that, uh, all uh, upper layer protocols uh, work with the MCTP for the transport. 
Uh, the, one of the beauty of the uh, MCTP protocol is like all the hardware specific uh, physical layer specific bindings are defined in se separate specifications. Okay, and um, okay, so the where what is the motivation to uh, come up come up with this presentation and uh, what we are trying to do? So uh, we are working on the uh, IBM uh, servers and we were using we. Were, we were using IPMI for the in-band communication between the uh, host and the BMC. But uh, uh, we had quite a bit of limitations. We, we, we had heard about the lot of limitations that we, uh, we have with IPMI, with the sensor numbers and a few other things. But uh, we wanted to try out the PLDM for that in-band communication with the platform software. And uh, we wrote some code, and we wanted to test that out. And we, we didn't know what to do about that. We didn't find any uh, open source tooling that was available. So we reached out to the uh, work group to see if any of the companies that are working on the this protocol has a open source tooling for for this. And uh, we didn't. I mean, we didn't get any open source tooling available. So we we thought we'll start with that. And there was uh, quite a bit of encouragement from the uh, the PMC work group to proceed with the uh, this tooling effort. So we we wanted to kind of uh, as we develop the protocol, the PLDM protocol, uh, we implement command by command. We want the tool development also to uh, make progress. And uh, so and also, uh, if you if you have used IPMI, you know that there are a number of uh, tools available. You would have the IPMI tool, IPMI util, free IPMI. You would have heard about a lot of that. So one focus was to have kind of converged tool development for these PMC protocols. Like get together all interested par parties and uh, work together on this. Another goal was to uh, rapidly test uh, the I/O adapters uh, that support the PLDM protocol uh, connected to the uh, uh, MC. Uh, using these toolings, we could uh, get the through information. We could get the temperature on the, those uh, adapters. So we want to rapidly test out these uh, I/O adapters. So uh, we wanted to uh, do that. So the state of development right now on the uh, tooling front. So I think I have used uh, IPMI tool for quite a few years. So the immediate name for the tool that came to my mind was to uh, was PLDM tool. Um, the, 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 so we were implementing the PLDM specification. So we started off with the PLDM tool. And uh, this PLDM tool uh, acts as a requester. And it runs on, on the OpenBMC, uh, unlike uh, IPMI tool that can that typically runs outside the BMC and ta ta targets it via network. We, the PLDM tool runs on the open BMC and uh, uh, runs as a PLDM requester. It is developed in uh, modern C++, uh, like other open BMC applications. And uh, it leverages uh, the CLI 11 parser, the command line, the, uh, C++ 11 uh, command line parser, which is like uh, pretty simple uh, with minimal syntax. Uh, you can get your things done. Uh, we we leverage, uh, we re reuse the uh, libplm li library uh, for the encoding and decoding of the commands. So the this libplm was a library that we developed uh, for the protocol to take care of the encoding and the decoding. So that uh, so we have reused that for the tooling as well. <clears throat> this li library can be reused in any of the uh, any of these components that speaks the pldm. Uh, right now we are. Uh, like our test team is writing functional test cases uh, uh, for this PLDM stack using this uh, PLDM tool. So uh, this is how this PLDM tool is uh, right now fitting into the uh, on the Open BMC. The PLDM tool runs on the Open BMC, uh, acts as a requester, and uh, uh, so uh, th there's an MCTP daemon that's running on the uh, on the Open BMC. So that is kind of a uh, uh, like a multiplexer, and the the responder, uh, the PLDM daemon. What you see on the chart is the the responder, the the protocol implementation where there are uh, command handlers for each of the implemented commands. So the tool uh, is also connected to the same daemon. Uh, it sends the PLDM request, uh, and the daemon forwards it to the uh, responder, and the PLDM tool. Uh, Gets a response back and uh, shows the output. Pretty similar, similar to what uh, how the IPMI tool works.
So uh, this is uh, another use case of uh, PLM tool. The, the PLM, PLM tool could target the uh, the I/O adapters. So the I/O adapters will be connected through some physical medium to the uh, management controller. So the PLM tool uh, can target the uh, I/O adapters. Uh, so the so the uh, it depends on the uh, endpoint IDs that are assigned to the uh, I/O adapters. Uh, the PLM tool will route uh, will uh, send the request to these I/O adapters, and uh, uh, the tool uh, processes the response back. So these are the two uh, kind of use cases that we right now we are seeing for the PLM tool. Uh, we we are uh, right now the the first first use case we are uh, like uh, our uh, development team is using for testing out the uh, command implementations. But this is something which we plan to uh, use in the ne near future. So we we could try out. <laughs> the IO adapters, we could try out what uh, um, like PDRs uh, that are supported, uh, what are the sensors that are, that are there on the IO adapters, uh, get the VPD information uh, like that. Yeah, this is uh, uh, like the out output of the PLM tool. Uh, it's, it's very rudimentary right now. It's very basic. Uh, so. We got a few few commands implemented like get PLM types and the get PLM version uh, in the uh, tool, and it supports some of these uh, subcommands. Like uh, the get PLM version takes takes a subcommand like uh, what is the PLM type that you want to kind of prop the uh, version for. So you could pass that. So I mean, this is something very basic that we started with. Like this can grow like. Like uh, like the, based on the PLM protocol needs. Okay, let's uh, yeah some sample output for the PLM tool. Uh, this is this command basically uh, gets the base version of the uh, PLM um, for the base base uh, PLM type. So uh, what the PLM tool takes care of is like it it puts the MCTP header uh, as, as the first two bytes. It puts the the endpoint. And the message type, which is PLDM, uh, followed by the PLDM header, and the, then followed by the uh, commands request data. <coughs> Since uh, uh, this is a MCTP uh, daemon is a uh, what do you call a DMUX, it basically the it, it's uh, this what was sent by, sent by the PL, PLDM tool is uh, looped back again to the PLDM tool. So it's a PLDM tool uh, uh, basically discards it. Um, but what comes as a response from the actual responder is uh, processed. And uh, right now, it's just printed as a, a bits and bytes. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll be uh, getting to some of these en en enhancements uh, later. But, uh, yeah, but we get the MCTP header. We get the PLM response and the data. And if you see that, that F1, F0, F0, 00 stands for the, the PLM version type. Uh, and that, that's like 1.0.0. .0 .0. Like major, minor, and I think auxiliary from uh, a version. <coughs> uh, yep. Next, uh, we we have something called a raw, raw option, um, quite similar to the IPMI tool. So when we have, I mean, we we are more focused on the protocol development uh, to meet the deadline. So we couldn't put enough effort for the tooling effort. So we came up with some something like a raw option, uh, which will help. Uh, uh, what do you call it? And whenever a new command is implemented, someone wants to script uh, some of these uh, requests, they can do that using the raw option. With the raw option, um, the only thing that you, uh, that uh, that's not needed is the MCTP header portion is needed. But you need to stuff in the PLM header piece, which is which is the first three bytes, and the request data portion. Yep, the response is uh, identical to what we saw with the uh, standard option. So uh, this is something on the cards, uh, the NVMe tool. So NVMe is a like a register-level interface for a PCA-based SSD. Uh, so these uh, NVMe cards uh, SSDs will have this NVMe subsystem, where there are management management endpoints uh, within the uh, NVMe subsystem, which can be uh, kind of uh, queried from the NVMe tool. They, uh, so there are two uh, two uh, physical mediums are the SMBs and the PCA, uh, and so the NVMe tool should be uh, able to 
speak to the subsystem using uh, any of this physical medium. And uh, yeah, uh, it, it can be used for like uh, querying the VPD information of this uh, uh, NVMe cards, uh, do some monitoring, temperature monitoring, and all that should be possible. But this is uh, something which we, we, <coughs> which we, uh, we think that uh, some of these uh, folks who are uh, working actively working on the NVMe could uh, could participate in. Okay. Uh, previous, previous page. Oh yeah. Uh, is this following the NVMe MI protocol or to communicate with the NVMe subsystem? Yeah. Okay. So NVMe tool is also just like a name given. It, it could be something that uh, someone develops, uh, comes up with something better. But uh, yeah, so these are the uh, future plans that we have for the uh, for this uh, tooling effort. One thing is to Come out, come out with a uh, human readable uh, formats, so that uh, some yeah, the person who uh, who is uh, running that doesn't need to go to the bits and bytes. It it has a uh, better uh, output. Another uh, uh, suggestion was to come up with a JSON output. Um, like it'll be like a custom JSON uh, for each command, but uh, what that can be used for is uh, for the protocol validation suite, something similar to the Redfish. Uh, that that uh, we can write schemas for the requirements of like what uh, protocols it should adhere to, and these uh, JSON outputs could be used to see whether the uh, the protocol implementation uh, like uh, matches. The JSON output also sh uh, will will probably help with uh, these uh, PDRs, uh, which 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 will put out a lot of information. Like uh, it depends on the implementation, but it can it can it can throw a lot of output. So these JSON uh, out, output uh, probably will be uh, will be useful to uh, validate this uh, uh, the command responses uh, and something that uh, yeah something something that we can do with that is also uh, for those who are comfortable like uh, uh, knowledgeable about the PLDM protocol there's a concept of uh, entity IDs entity instance and the uh, containers so it's like uh, uh, we can have a, a, what do you call PDRs for uh, or CPU cores, we can have those, uh, and uh, those can, those will be part of that's, those will be contained in the CPU. So those kind of hierarchy, we can we can have some kind of uh, uh, kind of ima uh, images generated out of this JSON, which shows uh, uh, how the uh, what do you call uh, how how the system is uh, organized. Those kind of out output. Uh, yeah, uh, and the next thing is to develop this into a like a family of PMCA tools. Uh, right now, we only have the PLDM tool, but probably come up with uh, uh, other tools based on the requirement. Um, and uh, we'll also work with uh, the DMTF to upstream some of these uh, PMCA tools uh, so that it's available for everyone to uh, pick and use. Um, and probably host it in, like, where uh, there's in the DMTF, uh, uh, GitHub as a DMTF uh, repository where some of these refresh, Redfish validators are there. Probably, uh, if it works out well, upstream some of this uh, code over there. So yeah, a few links for uh, getting started on the uh, PMCA tooling. Uh, so uh, the PM PLDM tool implementation is out there in the GitHub. Uh, it is, uh, yeah, it's pretty simple right now. But please do take take a look uh, and uh, try to try to uh, like uh, uh, review some of the code out there and. Uh, try to contribute. So uh, I was speaking with Ben from uh, uh, Facebook uh, yesterday and uh, got to know that some of the code that uh, uh, that he was writing for the uh, PLDM firmware update uh, it's uh, that can fit in, 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 the, in this after uh, in the PLDM tool and can be consumed by the community. So one of the objectives of this presentation was met when I spoke to him that uh, there are there there is code out there which can be brought into into this uh, tooling effort. And uh, I welcome uh, everyone to be, take part in this PMCA work group. Uh, it it is uh, uh, like uh, to get to get an update about all the re recent uh, specifications and everything that is happening for in the box communication. Uh, this, uh, this is an excellent place to be. Um, they meet uh, quite frequently. Uh, the, there are calls that we can uh, take part in. 
Yep. And uh, the, the PMC or white paper will give more details on what I spoke now uh, to get you a, uh, like an overall picture if, if you are uh, quite new to the subject. Thank you. Uh, I'm interested in the uh, PMC tour for the JSON format. Uh, does it refer to the binary encoded JSON? Uh, uh, when I what what I mentioned over there was not binary encoded JSON, uh, but uh, it was rather uh, the output shown in a, in a JSON format. Okay. Uh, like uh, so, suppose uh, we have the like a PDR output, right? It has an entity ID, entity instance. Those coming out in a in a JSON for, format. Mm -hmm. So, do you have any plan for the BGR for PLDM or uh, RDE Redfish device in development? Yep, uh, that uh, it depends on, on the on the uh, development plans that we have, but that's something which we are interested in. Okay. Yeah. So the tool communicates directly with the PLDM daemon, and then uh, yep. the output would be JSON format, right? Yeah. So that, that's, uh, that's not what we have done right now. Right now, we have, what, what we put, put, put is out a raw format, but that's something which we are interested in doing. So the use case for this is running from the host, or is it running from the remote administrator console? Uh, right, right now, the PLDM tool runs on the OpenBMC. Mm -hmm. Uh, but that can be run from uh, like uh, from the host as well, okay. because it's a, it's a it's a requester and it could run from anywhere. Right now it runs on the Open BMC, but it should be possible to run it from the uh, host. Okay. So, uh, I mean, for out of band management, you have the Redfish interface, yep. right? So, would it be kind of possible you make a Redfish uh, post command, for example? And it invokes the PLDM tool to get the data uh, from the uh, PLDM uh, event receiver or whatever. Okay. Would that make sense? Or? Um, yeah, but like uh, I think there's a clear distinction uh, as I understand that these are this is uh, these protocols are this PMC protocols are all for in the box communication. Right. Yeah, they don't cater to the uh, right. remote management, and the Redfish caters to that. Yeah, uh, what I was saying was Redfish caters to the outside the box communication, yeah. right? In PMCI terminology. Yep. So if uh, I mean the request can be in the Redfish JSON format. Okay. The PLDM, for example, the event log or event receiver uh, implemented within the PLDM, uh, you don't have a way to get the logs out other than the PLDM tool okay. for outside the box communication. Okay. If there is some kind of uh, communication link between the Redfish front end okay. and the PLDM tool back end. Got it, yeah. Make. So for that, uh, right now, uh, we, uh, this on OpenBMC, the debug object model acts as that common bridging factor. Uh, so uh, like, uh, for example, we, we have this uh, state sensors, uh, which, uh, which are sent from the uh, host to update the state of the host in the boot, uh, boot progress. So those are uh, those messages come via the P, uh, PLDM protocol, but those are uh, reflected on the Debus objects, and but those are those Debus objects are consumed by the uh, Redfish. <coughs> so the, the the I hope I answered you, but the kind of bridging that we are trying to do is is through the uh, Debus object model okay. that we have on the Open BMC. Okay. All right. Yeah. Hey, uh, just one question about the uh, contribution. Uh, yeah. Do you expect us to, so if we want to contribute to this uh, tool, should we send a PR directly on GitHub or do you prefer like Garrett or other? The Garrett, OpenBMC Garrett. Okay, okay, so it's not through pull request on GitHub, right? Yeah, it's like, it's like any other OpenBMC uh, yeah. uh, repository right now. So you can contribute to the OpenBMC Garrett. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, the, the normal cycle it goes Great. through. Okay, thank you. Yeah, but, but yeah, uh, as we talked yesterday, right, the, uh, the firmware upgrade uh, piece that you have, right, uh, is something which we can uh, pull into this. Yeah, definitely. definitely. Yeah, so that yeah. Uh, someone can, uh, like, you can target uh, any of the IR adapters and you can uh, do a firmware upgrade using uh, PLDM tool. Yeah, awesome. Cool. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, any other questions? Yeah. Uh, 
Thank you. Yeah.